Nobody saw this coming. He's in the intro of all my videos. How could he? started you already know give the video a like ah! Reggie fees of a Reggie's just bored right now bro They're like ah, I did what I need to do at Nintendo let me go on over to GameStop that's right Reggie has been hired now the actual thing is joins he joins GameStop's board of directors and so he's gonna be on their board to help advise them and guide them through so it is a hire he's on the board of directors they're paying him to help the company out and so he's going to be uh, working with GameStop to try to get the company out some very troubled times bro GameStop is in a lot of trouble man because more and more people are going the digital route GameStop is in the business of getting your old physical games and you you turn in um, Ori and the Blind Forest it's traded in for they give you $10 back <laughs> and then they're gonna resell the game for $55.99 and, <laughs> and so they've been doing that for a while but more people have been getting their games digital I go all digital bro I'm really all digital with my um, with my gaming right now. It's just convenient for me, and especially with the cloud. Uh, more and more people going into the cloud. Stadia failing though. Stadia failed, but Microsoft X Cloud. Sony has some kind of service. Nintendo has the cloud services in Japan, and so um, the trend in video gaming is going away from physical media. Even though you do have diehard physical dudes, GameStop saving grace right now is hardware. Both Sony and Microsoft is going to be launching hardware, so that's going to help GameStop out tremendously. But Reggie was able to come in and help Nintendo out. He was their president through most um, during most of their most successful um, hardware, namely the Wii. And um, and the Switch. He was there during the Wii U, though. He was there during the Wii U. You got to take the good with the bad. But um, I think Reggie will be good. He'll help him out. He, he ain't going to hurt him. He'll help him out. Um, I think GameStop, they got to get with the cloud streaming wave or something. Um, they got to have to figure out something, bro. Um, because the way of physical media is going more and more like the dinosaur so hopefully GameStop can get some fresh new ideas to help the company out that's right Reggie's board let's go over to GameStop next year I'll do a video Microsoft hires Nintendo um, hires Reggie fils me and he'll be over at Xbox boy what's your boy all right next news item speaking of Xbox bro I'm pumped for the Xbox Series X. I've always been more of an Xbox dude than a Sony dude. But it looks like we're going to be getting some Xbox, some new Xbox Series X info next week. This is coming courtesy of GameSpot. But I already knew about this. Um, since GDC was canceled, uh, Microsoft, they had a spot, a um, certain amount of days they had a panel where they were going to talk about um, the Xbox and most importantly the Xbox Series X and so because they're not going to be there physically they're going the digital route that's right next week on Mixer on Mixer Microsoft is going to be hosting its scheduled conference panels and announcements on Mixer alright 
this is what the article says just to give you the information so when you could tune in um and then we could go from there it says with gdc postponed several companies i got some more news after this developers are sharing what they had planned for the conference via alternative means and i tell you this this is what's going to happen at e3 E3 is going to be canceled, but these companies are still going to just go the digital route and still give us that information, pre-recorded um, videos. Microsoft is hosting two days of Mixer live streams called GameStack Live to share its GDC panels and announcements, including a talk seemingly designed to provide further details about the Xbox Series X. Could we get the announcement of the Xbox Series S, the less powerful alternative um, to the Series X? We'll have to see. But it says on the second day of live streams, March 18th, Microsoft will hold a panel on Xbox Series X and Project X, Project X Cloud at 11.40 p.m. Eastern St Pacific Time. That's 12, 11, so it's 11, um, eight, um, 11:40 Pacific time, and it's three hours later Eastern Standard Time. What daylight savings, though? I get confused. Is it two hours now, or is it still three hours? I don't know. Um, the segment will be devoted to talking about the new chapter of gaming. Just before that, at 10:40 a.m. Pacific time, Microsoft will talk about how online services are being defined by the next generation of gaming which could possibly offer insight into the Xbox Series X as well. And so stay tuned on March 18th for more Xbox Series X news. Can't wait. You know what I want? I know the hardware is going to be lit. All right. Microsoft hasn't been disappointing with hardware, <laughs> except for the OG Xbox One. Xbox One X, love the console. Bro, I want to hear some more game announcements. You know it'd be lit. But I really think they're going to save this for E3. Fable. Fable 4 is hotly rumored. Fable 4 is going to happen. One of my favorite gaming franchises. Love, love, love the Fable series. A new Banjo-Kazooie, bro. Microsoft, long overdue. How could y'all be the owners of Banjo-Kazooie? And we haven't gotten a good banjo game since the nintendo 64 come on bro that nuts and bolts was an atrocity y'all need to redeem yourselves have a great team i got the studios put a team on making a great banjo even if y'all bro remaster the nintendo 64 game as a starting point if y'all remake remaster banjo 64 that's easy money, bro. Easy development costs, easy money. You'll thank me later. All right. We're about to wrap up this news item. But the next news item, NVIDIA GeForce Now. They're in trouble, bro. They're in trouble. Publishers, more and more publishers are pulling out of NVIDIA's GeForce Now. That's NVIDIA's um, cloud-based streaming service. My my only thinking is the deal isn't cut right for them. The the publishers are like, wait, y'all just putting y'all games on y'all our games on y'all service, and y'all ain't paying us. Uh 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 uh, bro, it don't work like that. Uh, contrast to X Cloud, X Cloud has been announcing more and more developers on board. And I was, I'm sounding like a Microsoft fanboy right now, but I'm just speaking facts. Um, where more and more developers are going on board because. Microsoft is probably giving them a good, making it sound good and fair and reasonable. More and more games are being added to Game Pass. Um, NBA 2K20 just got added to Game Pass. GTA 5, Rockstar, probably the biggest game uh, ever, is on Game Pass right now. And so the developers don't see the value, the worth, and they're pulling out of NVIDIA's cloud-based streaming service. Interesting. All right, dude, that's it for this video, bro. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things 
Game, bro. We out, boy. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi One Plays, and that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait, there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming Discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays you'll thank me later also check out the swag bro links are in the description i'll see you later Deuces.